He says, وَلَا يَزْنُونَ And they don't commit zina. They don't have boyfriends and girlfriends. They don't have secret relationships. Why did he mention that? Because for some people, it's always there. He's a good-looking young guy. He walks around in the mall and the girl looks at him and goes, hee-hee. <laughs> and he's like, oh, this is easy. You know, nobody's watching. I think it's okay. Should be alright. And he stops himself. He still stops. It's hard. I know it's hard, guys. I know. It's hard. But you stop yourself. The girl thinks that guy's looking at me. Man, he must think I'm really pretty. And she starts smiling. She stops herself. No, this is wrong. I can't do this. This is not right. Just because my parents aren't watching. Just because the police isn't here to stop me. Doesn't mean it's okay. Walaya is known. They don't do it. They don't behave like that. There are young men in, like when I, where I come from in the US, obviously, you know, kids go to college, and college in the summer is bad. You know, it's bad. And you have an 18, 19 year old boy whose whole hormones are raging inside of him. And then there's like, in his college classroom, there's girls sitting that are barely dressed. And this girl comes over to him and says, Hey, can you help me with the homework? And he's being tested by Allah. He's being tested. You guys are going to be tested. That's not just in America, by the way. That's not just in America. You'll be tested in the mall. You'll be tested when you go out and hang out. I know. I know. Who told you? I, I, don't worry about it. I, I have big ears, alhamdulillah. You, you will be tested with this. And it's, sometimes it's not going to be easy, especially for the young people here. It's not going to be easy. Maybe you have friends on your phone, man. Your parents don't know about it. You've got a secret. You've got another profile on Facebook. You're just updating it right now. And you have to unfriend all of those girls. Yep, you do. You listening? You have to unfriend them. And don't call them back. And don't text them back. And when they say, what happened? You don't like me anymore. You don't even say, no, 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 no. It's not you. It's just Islam. No, don't do that. Don't even talk back. Just leave it. Drop it. End of story. No more. Girls, if you're up to this, stop it. You stop yourselves. You know, you, this is not something your parents will come and control. You, when you are teenagers, and you have hormones, and you reach the age of puberty, and you're attracted to the opposite gender, that means in Islam, you are adults, and you have to make your own responsible decisions. Your parents are no longer responsible for your Islam. You are responsible. If you are 14 years old, 15 years old, even 13 years old, and you die today, then Allah will not say, minor, go easy on him. You are treated as an adult in our deen. This religion makes you an adult early. The moment you start feeling a little funny about the other gender, you're an adult. You will be tried by Allah like a 50 year old, like a 30 year old, you're the same as them. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Don't think of yourself as just a kid. You are an adult. وَلَا يَزْنُونَ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَى أَثَامًا Whoever did that, he's, he's, gonna, he's earned, he's come to contact with a great sin. How can a Muslim do this? How can a Muslim do shit? How can a Muslim kill someone? How can a Muslim commit zina? How can they do that? يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ the punishment will be doubled for those people. The, pa the passage began, these are special people to me. And now Allah says, these kaba'ir, these three things, shirk, murder, and zina, adultery, illegitimate relations, these three things, if a Muslim does it, anybody else does it, they will get punished. A Muslim does it, I'll punish him double. He knew it and he still did it. A mushrik, at least he didn't know and he did it. The Muslim knew it and he still did it. لَهُ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ on Judgment Day, on Resurrection Day, the punishment is doubled for him. وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ muhanan, And he will remain in that punishment humiliated. He will constantly be humiliated. Because shirk and killing a person and zina are humiliating crimes. They take away the dignity of a human being.